Hello and welcome to a new video. I'm Fox Fans Olele and I'm glad you're here. Today's intro is another beautiful set of sunsets that I've experienced and I hope you enjoy them. Um, the last clip especially was very mesmerizing to me because in real life it looked very red and it was just beautiful to see. So for today's video I'm doing a little haul and a review of the items I bought. Uh, I didn't buy this all at once. I kept saving up these items and um, filmed the haul portion when I got it and <laughs> cataloged the uh, items I got. But I bought them over I think three months or so. Um, and I got them from Peter's Art. Um, it's a shop here in Berlin, I believe. And I'm very satisfied with um, their products on their webpage. The shipping goes really fast and it's always packaged very neatly. The first few items are Holbein gouache paints. Um, Holbein is probably my favorite brand for gouache and acrylic gouache. Um, also their watercolors are pretty nice but I wanted to stock up on some more colors I don't have. Obviously you could mix all these colors by yourself but I am sometimes lazy. The next items are acrylic gouache by Turner and prior to um, this video I hadn't tried them out but I've dabbled in them now for a few times and they're really really nice and they really compare to the Holbein paints so they're a bit cheaper um, I'm not sure if they have the same amount in them but they are pretty great and some of the colors are almost dupes to the acrylic gouache you can get from Holbein I really wanted to try um, a few pastel colors and the La May in opal crystal, um, which you can see. Uh, also, I wanted to get some new fountain pen inks, um, especially a red one. Uh, I was a bit disappointed with the red, I thought it was more of a red red, but this is more rusty. I mean, it's still a beautiful color, don't get me wrong, but it's not what I anticipated. <laughs> so for um, cataloging my colors, I always do this. I have a sheet of paper with all the colors I currently have and I will swatch them. Usually I just take the paint out of the cap of the uh, tube because I don't know, it's not wasting any paint that I could use on illustrations. And I'll do this with a palette knife because I'm just too lazy to clean a brush every time I get into a new color. So that's it. that is a little cheat way of not having to wash your brushes. Uh, I also write down the um, color name and the color number just so it's easier to find them when I want to grab these exact paints. Um, also, I will usually do it in a rainbow formation. Uh, it's not the real rainbow. I'm really bad at remembering how that one goes. So I just do it by um, lightest shade to darkest shade or yeah. <clears throat> but uh, the colors I've gotten, they are really pretty, even just on the swatches, and I'm glad I finally own them. Um, it's really hard to get blue and green paints, um, just because of the pigments in them. They can be really um, thin, as you can see with the ice blue. It's more transparent than I wish it was, but um, they're still pretty colors, so I will enjoy them.
and here I'm swatching the Turner acrylic brush I got some neon paints which don't really show up um, in this clip but I promise you they are really neon and it's such a fun thing to paint with them um, especially when you mix it with other colors because it just gives other tones such a luminance that is really outstanding in my opinion um, I've also noticed that they have quite a few different sets like the pastel one, the lame, they also have a Japanese paint one I think and the strawberry red is from them, it's the six color uh, yeah, the six color on the swatch sheet so they are all really pretty Uh, here you can see me swatch the uh, opal crystal lame paint and it's such a fun color because it's just glitter in a tube and it looks really sparkly especially under certain lights of flash so i'm happy i got to try that one out uh, i want to get some more of these paints but it's um, really just a fun topper i feel like because you can't really see it in um, pictures or scans a lot and last but not least I'm swatching the uh, fountain pen inks uh, there's not much to say about them just the color and um, the black one uh, they are both waterproof so that's really nice even for a fountain pen so yeah and the second package I've got um, was also <laughs> really fun because I just got a few more acrylic gouache paints <coughs> from Turner and Holbein and uh, I also got a gold paint by Vallejo I saw Moonlight Jewel recommend these paints and I'm really impressed by it even though the smell is horrendous because it just smells like alcohol or something else that's really um, strong <laughs> it doesn't smell nice but at least it's waterproof and it stays shiny so that's really nice especially since you can apply it with a um, brush and get really fine lines and here are the other acrylic um, gouache paints I got um, I just base my picking for these colors um, on what colors I already have and what colors I'm missing and also sometimes if I have a certain color palette in mind that I want to do for a illustration like the lavender and the mustard yellow looked really nice together so that's why i got them i got some more neon paints from the turner selection and here you can see a bit better how luminous they really are they almost look like they glow in the dark um, also something about these um, paints the acrylic ones is that unlike gouache they can't be reactivated once they're dry and i really like that in paints uh, i never really liked acrylics until a few years ago but now i can see why it's a nice addition to your uh, materialist i'd say 
just because you can paint over a few different colors a lot of times and it just will stay opaque and not much so that's pretty nice So here's me just swatching the uh, Holbein uh, Aquila gouache paints. Um, in my opinion, the colors on the two really uh, compare well to how they swatch. Um, I haven't found a color by Holbein that doesn't match the two color when it's swatched. They're really accurate and I really enjoy that because it makes picking colors a lot easier especially if you have to get them online since no shop really has any Holbein page, uh, paints here so that's nice to know also another tip I would say is to google certain swatches when you wanna purchase some and you're unsure of how they will look um, it just gives a more accurate representation of it and I hope you can look at my swatches if you want to purchase them as well and make a decision on that I've tried to keep the lighting as accurate as possible so you can see the true colors of these paints um, but also, like I said, the color on the tube really matches well with um, how it swatches. Also, I bought these paints as a part of my birthday gift. When I'm uploading this video, it will be my birthday. Not that I'm looking forward to it, but sometimes you have to give yourself a present for making it through another year and not falling down any further. So. I hope you're having a nice day on my regards. <laughs> so for today's tryout um, review part, I'm picking colors beforehand that I want to use in this painting and I didn't um, go far from the colors I picked like I only use these colors um, it is sometimes really fun to pick your colors in advance so you don't <laughs> accidentally make a mess or make it too weird in color like sometimes when I'm too lazy to make a color mock-up <laughs> so um, picking colors be beforehand really um, puts you in a lane and you just can work off of that without worrying too much and I decided to draw a cyber girl um, I've really been inspired by Tiger Child's um, motives or more so the amount of detail they put into their art 
I link them down below, but I I'm nowhere near as detailed or um, skilled in a way. Like I know I could be skilled with uh, the amount of detail if I wanted to, but I just don't have the mental library for it. So I'm just adoring their art instead and doing a crappy job of um, translating it into my own style. Um, not that I'm unsatisfied with this little illustration I did, it's just funny to me when I compare the inspiration to my own um, uh, motive, I suppose. Like, it's not bad, but it's not the same. Not that I wanted it to be the same, but you hopefully get what I'm saying. As you can probably tell, I wanted to go for a very colorful and almost pastel vibe with this one. Um, usually cyborgs and robots are in a very cool toned um, color range like grays and silvers, gold sometimes, but I rarely see any colorful or pastel robots and so I wanted to give it my own twist and I really like how it turned out in the end because it's just such a fun um, illustration in the end.
also I feel in these clips you can really tell how neon some of the colors are like the pink I've used on some of the accents and later on the um, background it just really blows my mind how vibrant the, these colors are while still being very opaque not um, very translucent so that's really good to know And I was struggling again with how I wanted to add outlines to this piece. Um, at first I wanted to go in with some brushes as you can see but that didn't really feel nice. It just got very goopy and it wasn't very fluid to me so it just bothered me a lot especially because the lines kept getting thicker and it wasn't what I imagined. So I switched over to some Moonlight um, Sakura Jelly Roll pens just because I know they're also opaque and they usually flow a lot better and the colors I have in these pens really match this piece so I went for them. Um, some of the pens don't have a really fine tip so it sometimes was getting a bit too goofy or thick in some parts but I mean it's still um, better than the um, brush I was using because it felt a lot more controlled with these pants.
I really found that the Moonlight um, Jelly Rolls by Sakura really work well with acrylic paint just because they are also the same matte texture when it dries and they really layer well on top of the dried acrylic. And for the final touches I was having some liquid chrome by Monotone just for some added fancy robot details and um, I added a few white pieces with the PH Martin's penlight to the hair and eyes and some of the um, skin parts. Also, I wanted to add some sparkles behind the uh, robo wings I gave her, just so it looks a little more magical and fun. I really like how these sparkles turned out. I did them with a Posca um, white, just because the tip gives me a lot more precision and thin lines.
And with the peeling of the tape, I'm done. I hope you enjoyed the illustration and the haul part at the beginning. If you have some questions, you can leave them down below. Um, leave a like, comment and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.